أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ومن آياته خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف ألسنتكم وألوانكم إن في ذلك لآيات للعالمين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي we're on the 21st جوز and I'm sharing with you an ayah from Surat Ar-Rum, the, 30, the 30th surah actually. And this is the 22nd ayah of that surah. Allah says something very powerful that has many implications for us as Muslims uh, living in a diverse society or wherever we are in the world. Allah says, of His miraculous signs is the creation of the skies and the earth. When Allah calls something His sign, it means it has to be revered and appreciated because it guides back to Him. Anything that guides back to Him should be acknowledged and respected. Like the Qur'an is, all the Qur'an is, is ayat of Allah. Min ayatihi, hadihi min ayatihi, kadalik. These, what, what I'm reading to you, are His ayat also. So His ayat deserve respect because they lead us back to Him. So the ayat of creation, the skies and the earth, they are revered creations of Allah. We honor the creation of Allah because it takes us closer to Allah. Now Allah says, of those signs, waqtilafi al-sinatikum, is the differences of your tongues. The different languages, different cultures in the world are part of the, the, the diversity on the earth is actually a sign of Allah. It's a, it's a proof of Allah, it's a miracle of Allah. That Allah Azza wa created us from one human being, from one man and one female, you know. خَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا وَبَثَّ مِنْهُمَا رِجَالًا كَثِيرًا وَنِسَاءً You know, خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ نَفْسٍ وَاحِدًا وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا He created you from a single person and then, you know, from, from him the spouse and then created so many of you and here he says, so many of you became so many different languages so many different languages Adam alayhi salam was taught al-asma, the words that must have been one language, right? so all languages in the world are like the children of the language of Adam alayhi salam all these different languages that are there are variations, further and further and further variations of the original language taught to Adam salam. So people that speak a language different than yours are not to be made fun of, they're supposed to be respected. What's coming out of their mouth is actually something tied directly to revelation. So you might think somebody who's speaking, you know, Cantonese, somebody who's speaking Bangla, somebody speaking Punjabi, somebody speaking English, somebody speaking French, they sound weird, they sound funny. As a matter of fact, all of it should be respected because it's from the ayat of Allah. Allah says the different languages are His ayat. So English is an ayah of Allah. French is an ayah of Allah. Punjabi is an ayah of Allah. SubhanAllah. These different tongues, these different languages are ayat of Allah, are signs of God. And then He adds, وَاخْتِلَافِ alwanikum. You know, He adds, وَالْوَانِكُمْ Your colors. Different sc color skin is a sign of God. So the fact that there are different ethnicities in the world, from the Muslim perspective, from the Quranic perspective, we're supposed to have respect for different races, just because Allah called races themselves, different colors of skin themselves, a divine sign, a sign of Himself, a reminder of Himself. So when people look at a, the, the color of skin and consider someone inferior or superior or a hated race or a loved race, then that itself is a denial of the ayat of Allah. So read all the places in the Qur'an where Allah says, those who disbelieve in our ayat, those who disregard our ayat, those who don't care about our ayat, those who lie against our ayat, those who you know, don't consider our ayat, then this is the ayat too. A person's skin is an ayat too. And you don't respect a person who's a different skin than you, you are disregarding an ayat of Allah. What a powerful teaching of the Qur'an. What a powerful way to combat racism. So how can you call yourself a Muslim and you have racist tendencies? How can you do that? وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافُ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَا آيَاتٍ In that there are many, many, many miracles, many signs, many teachings, many paths to guidance for people who actually know. لِلْعَالِمِينَ So what are we learning? People who are racist and still call themselves Muslims can't possibly be knowledgeable. Because people that have knowledge, they will take the lessons from this. They'll learn from this. May Allah remove racism and prejudice and the disregard for other cultures away from our hearts because a disregard of that is in fact, these things are in fact disregard of the ayat of Allah. And may Allah make us of those that every one of His ayat bring us closer to Him and a disregard of them is completely and it never happens in our hearts. That we never ever ever overlook 
something that Allah is supposed to, that Allah made, that we can come closer and closer to Him. Barakallahu li wa lakum, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.